Hello everyone, this is the start of Mechanical Minute where I'm going to be going over different mechanical features or other things on certain guns. I'm going to start by just doing a several week comparison of the Mauser series of rifles, specifically Model 98 patterns and Enfields. Uh, this is an Ishapur 2A1, however it works almost exactly the same as every other Enfield. The only noticeable difference is the magazine. So today we're going to talk about the difference between cock on open and cock on close. The Mausers are cock on open and the Enfields are cock on close. So what this means is, so let me close this rifle. Now I want to be clear, uh, I don't have any ammo anywhere near me. Both of these rifles have been cleared. So first let's talk about cock on open, because this is most common today, so it's what most of you are familiar with. When you cock the rifle to open it, I'll try and get this in a way where it's not in your way, you can see the cocking piece go back, and you feel the resistance right here while you're opening the rifle. Then the rifle is cocked, you pull it back, push it forward and load a new round, and then you close the bolt. Uh, the majority of the cocking action was when we opened the bolt, and that is why it's called cock on open. The Enfield rifles are cock on close, meaning that I'll open the bolt and the cocking piece is still forward. Then I'm going to pull it back, and then when I push the bolt forward, I hit a wall right about here, push it the rest of the way, and then fold the bolt down, closing the bolt. Now the cocking piece is back, and when I pull the trigger, it will fire. So I'm just going to turn the bolt handle, and that cocks the striker right there. I'm going to pull it forward and push it back to simulate loading a new round, and then I close it. All right, so the way that cock on open works on the Mauser rifles is there is that angled surface right there and that angled surface on the cocking piece. Now, when the Mauser bolt is disassembled, the cocking piece is being held back by the safety. But if that was forward, the way that it would work is the bolt would be all the way in and the cocking piece would be up against that surface right there. Then as we opened the bolt by turning the handle, the cocking piece would be pushed back until right there, and as you push the bolt forward, it would go into the rifle, and the cocking piece would interact on this sear surface right here. You can see it going up and down as I pull the trigger. Then when you pull the trigger of the rifle, the cocking piece is released, and the firing pin can go forward to hit the primer. On a cock on close action, this action is much simpler. So I'm going to open up the bolt. You can see that the cocking piece is still forward. So I'm going to bring the bolt back, bring it forward, chambering a new round if there was a round in here. Then as we push the bolt forward, you can see the cocking piece doesn't move and the bolt does. Then we close the bolt and the cocking piece is back. And then when I pull the trigger, it will fire. All right, on the end field, there is nothing for the cocking piece to interact with. So with a cock on close action, this most forward sear surface right here gets caught on that striker so that it will pull the striker back. And then when you fire, it will release it and the firing pin will hit the striker. So if I put this back in, then you can see that right there is it hitting that striker. Now when I close it, if I pull the trigger, it will fire. There are several advantages and disadvantages to both of these action types. For example, with a cock on close action, it is far easier to leave the spring uncompressed. That's important to some gun owners and not important to others. People I respect, like Ian McCollum, have said that leaving a spring compressed does absolutely no harm to it. And people I respect, like Paul Harrell, have said that leaving a spring compressed can do serious harm to it. Out of safety for the gun, I prefer to leave the spring uncompressed, but it really is up to you. Another advantage to cock on close is that it could be considered faster, since you are closing it with a forward stroke. It's just easier to do, according to some people. And an advantage to cock on open is that it's more common in a lot of modern firearms. So if you are already familiar with your gun, switching to something like a Mauser wouldn't be that much different. However, when I switched to this the first few times, I just pushed the bolt forward and pushed it down and didn't even think and pushed it down into nothing. It's also much easier for newer shooters to deal with cock on close than cock on open, just because again, it seems more natural. Uh, it doesn't seem natural to need to push the bolt forward more after it stops moving. I'm sure there are others that I'm missing. Talk about those in the comments below. And I will see you guys in the next video.